Hello, everybody. How are you? Uh, It's been a minute since I last did a podcast, but as someone who has spent an unbelievable amount of time within the Harry Potter universe as kind of an escapism mechanism back in the day, I decided that I kind of wanted to touch on the topic of Harry Potter and J.K. Rowling being anti-Semitic. Now, for full context, this stems from... I think it was uh, Newsweek, uh, basically extra- like taking Jon Stewart's uh, comments out of context, where he basically said that in jest, but also like kind of, like kind of seriously, that <clears throat> the Green God's goblins were uh, you know anti- were like Jewish tropes, which to be fair, like they are. And I'll get to that, but but he didn't in any. But the words J.K. Rowling is anti is an anti semite never left his lips. Newsweek just made that shit up, and that is I think a problem of just of 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 a lot of mainstream media's dog shit, you know, business model, and less of like you know any of the people involved. Um, I will I will say this though, for a woman who is you know, has hatred, has hatred in her heart for, you know, trans people the way J.K. Rowling does. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if she was, but, you know, fucking Emma Watson's, you know, shit saying, I like doing a very non, like non one way or the other, but still supportive tweet about Palestine you know, she was called an anti-Semite. People throw the anti-Semitic, you know, spoon around way too fucking much, in my personal opinion. But, you know. But the Green Gods goblins in Harry Potter are, 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 are negative Jewish tropes. You know, that goes without saying. But is J.K. Rowling herself actively an anti-Semite? No. Do, does she... But I do think that outside of her, you know transphobic views she might have some other quite problematic opinions or at least world views about people of different races creeds religions but what is there to say she's 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 she's, she's i think she's might have learned her lesson in this state away from twitter because she's effectively due to her you know transphobic comments has ruined her like her brand you know when when warner brothers wanted to do that uh 10 Harry Potter 10 year special she was nowhere to be found if she was it was pre-recorded things from way before she became an asshole she's just an old boomer her story on how she be a self-made billionaire is powerful very powerful but doesn't change the fact that she's a shit human being I'm empathetic for all that. I know the story about where the the Dementors were conceived from. But at the end of the day... Yeah. She drew the goblins the way she did. She says the things she says about it. As far as I'm concerned, J.K. Rowling was hit by a bus in the summer of 2010. Way before before Twitter became popular. And she... uh, and, and, and there was never in another book and it, she was killed after the Deathly Hollows was released and uh, we mourn her and we and she never and in the idea that she discovered uh, um, a Twitter and and wrote a, a bullshit play is all fake news so yeah that's where I stand on Jackie Rowling she died uh, 10 years ago and that's about it